Hello and welcome to another episode with Paradigm. Oh. Okay. Um, playing our lovely character called Paradigm. And um, our matchmaking computer sent us on the way to find the recovering floppy disk for our DJ pult. So we can become a famous musician. So then we talk to this lovely fella, Do, Do, Doc, who sent us off to get a map to show us um, where to get the next person. Okay. Let's see if we can find That's my a mailbox. Here. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. We've all been there. And then where will I be able to store my online shopping regret? Hey look! I have new mail! I... uh... what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. Um... Okay, we have a hey, mailbox in the mailbox. there's something else in the second mailbox. Oh... A third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. Maybe we have another mailbox. See, mailbox. There is another mailbox in here. I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, Postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up manual to use the map. Weird. Um, okay, that's so great. But we seem to have a bit of a picture on here and maybe we can use that as a map for Duck. Let's I see. have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Kursh Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um. I don't think it's sentimental value of a... Especially an inanimate object. I just wanted to have a look at it. Okay. So apparently we have to go here to the space cat at home. And this these are all locations. Don't know yet. Here's our little nuclear power plant. Um Yeah, seems to be quite a big map to go around with. So let's see what awaits us in the forest. So. Okay, can we just travel over? Yeah, we can. Okay. Whoa. Uh, is that the guy we were looking for? But he has pants on, so... Great a glitching tree. A warning sign. The sign says, please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. Okay, good to know. I was already expecting some South Park like. Those are metal mushies. Unlike their hallucinogenic brethren, they simply make you headbang and mush for days without getting fatigued. The only side effect is really swole traps. Swole. Yeah, can we pick them up? I don't need any headbanging drugs right now. Besides, I require long hair and a black metal band t-shirt to use it to its full potential. It's true, he's lacking both. No hair, no t-shirt. Ah! The old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says, 
Nicky Neck's Replica Crashed Aeroplane. Their motto reads, If you have a lot of money, you might as well spend it. Okay. Can we do something with the glitch oh tree? It's a glitching tree. In Krush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. I like the little surveillance camera up here. Let's have a look at the arcade machine. It's a rare arcade game which explains the intricacies of interplanetary love with lasers. Can we use hey, it? I used to own this. I actually have the high score, causing me to be both a terrible and broke electronic musician. Okay, apparently he doesn't want to go back to that. What is this? A strange pot-like spaceship. Looks like a little... I'm not really ready for Maltzes. Okay. Looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. Sorry. Um, okay. I can't just pour liquor uh. out for my dead homies. Wasting vodka and crush is punishable by death. I see. Okay. Well, what is this button doing? Sorry, I'm just trying out stuff here. Yes. There yeah. is me. Okay. Let's just talk to this guy, Mr. Space Cadet. Normally this outfit combination would be atrocious, but the moon shoes really bring it together. <laughs> okay. Hello? <laughs> I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What a wonderful comatose man. I need to divert his attention somehow. What a nice talkative fella. It's not even plugged in. And wow, there is at least four rats living inside. With what seems to be a little couch and studio lighting. Also a lap track? Fancy. Basically, that also seems to be transfixed by it. What a great TV program. I'd love to see that. There's another Dapper Organizer here. It's a, it's a organizer. Sort of like a personal digital diary. Compulsory to all citizens of Krush. Cornelius F. Occupation, local drug addict. Great. You know, just because I'm the local drug addict, people think that I'm crazy. They walk past and just consider me trash. They don't wait and consider that I'm a human being. Just because occasionally I'm naked, leathered in honey, shouting my favorite 80s pop lyrics. Anyway, so far, Vagrant Art performance is going well. You can never go too far with art, including taking hardcore drugs. And they say my art degree was useless. I'm going to be a social justice messiah after this. So great, my comment. A poop. Space dust, please. Okay. What else do we have here? I, I don't know if we have to talk to this guy or... Looks like some sort of a space observatory. However, on closer inspection, it's just a washing machine bowl attached to some large PVC piping. Okay. It's Can locked. we go in? Besides, oh, I don't need to go inside to see more priceless box furniture. I'm not sure that's how advertising works. Toddler baby man banking. Hello Cornelius, we are sorry to inform you that Duper Genetics has continued to He's paying your mortgage. 
We also like to emphasize that sending your body hair in Ziploc bag ugh, bags does not count as payment. It is not black gold as you referred it to as. You have 30 days to leave the premises. Again, please, oh god, please, no more bags. Your sincerely, Arthur Borovikov, CEO. Please don't let our baby body and face appearance fool you. We have years of experience. Oh, of course. I'd like to call the number 0331235512. Okay. So we can apparently not go in there. This is cutting edge technology. High tech keypad security drawn on the crayon. Compelling burglars to go back to art school. Pretty effective. Great. So. I thought we have to. I should talk to this guy, but apparently not. Maybe we have to. I can't use pop culture references in gameplay. I'm already pushing it as it is. Do we have to give him the vodka? Can we just fill it? You down would here? be the worst guy at AA meetings. Let's help out the drug addict with more drugs. Um, I mean, we cannot talk to him. Can we put the postcard I in? I don't here? think it would no. appreciate the sentimental value of a handwritten postcard from me, especially an inanimate object. Let's see, what else do we have here? There's a card here. Can't use it. There's some comics. Here. Truly an interior designer genius. He uses cardboard boxes for storage and furniture. Groundbreaking. But can we? No way. I'm afraid to touch furniture so expensive. Okay. Or do we have to go in the forest? If I had an indie folk band, I could probably use it. Or even a black metal band. All you need is the correct amount of filters and the correct amount of ego. How do we... Hello? <laughs> I'm pretty good thanks and you. Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What okay, we, I think we had this conversation already. Hello character developments. Space dust, please. I'm actually impressed someone so wired can even write that. That's true. By now, I should have cut Space Cadet's power, but that would mean I would lose my high score on Planet Love. I can't ever let Pin24 beat me again. I'm very intimate with Crucial's safety standards. And to be honest, I would like to stand at least two meters from any cables at can all we, times. Can we not connect the cable with a TV? What that what that maybe help? I don't know. Hey, I used to own I actually have code okay. If only the whole world had excess prejudice against it. Really, can we not just pick up I already have enough extremely dangerous cabling at home. Hmm. White power lines. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to use this icing sugar with. I wish I became a baker. As tempting as it is to have icing sugar on me at all times, in preparation for any surprise donuts, I'll leave it be. Hmm. What else do we have? A rocket? It's a toy rocket which has three settings. Atmosphere, space, and pleasure? <laughs> okay. Can we just use I it? I have no reason to use it now. Maybe later. No, not the pleasure setting. The other ones. Don't look at me like that. 
Okay. Um. I don't really seem to get anywhere here. Anything else we can go? No. I need to get the Derp OS 3.1 floppy before I go exploring. Can I put that on the just TV? pour liquor out for my dead homies? Wasting boot. Okay. I thought we can. Hello, spherical spaceship. That's so great to know. Probably not the. Can we What's pick the up point? the skeleton? I'm terrified of heights. I don't think it would ever work out. Scully. Scully. Okay. Hello, Metumashis. Hail Satan. I don't need any. I require. Yeah. At this time, I have no need to head back. So what can we do from here? I can go in the forest. No, it's just going back. I mean, we must, must have come here for some reason. He doesn't really want to wanna talk to us. Maybe do we have to this use the is a puzzle game. I'd much prefer to finish it sober. No. Yeah, what the hell? One shot can't hurt. Turns out I'm a lightweight. Good thing I'm a mutant and can process alcohol super quickly. Being this, I had much one shot. Turns out, I'm a lightweight. Hello, I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow, mm. what a wonderful commodos man! I need to divert his attention somehow. Can I talk to the rats? Oh, cute rats, which appear to be in some sort of rodent sitcom. No. Sorry, Red family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully, this gets his attention. Oh, okay. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! You truly are a monster. Okay, now he wants to talk to us. Great. What's the hottest conspiracy? What's the hottest conspiracies this week, Space Cadet? Planet Earth's president apparently wanted to grow up to be a talking car. Slow week, huh? Not at all. He just got surgery to replace his arms with wheels. He died. Oh. Right. Apparently, they are now recycling his body into real car tires. It's almost poetic. What a nice looking fella. Okay. What kind of facial product are you using? Your skin looks great. Gorgolowitz facial wipes. Thanks for asking. I mean, yeah. Same here. Your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little something I saw on AC Magazine. Phonetically known as AC. What does the AC stand for? Addict Chic. The real mm. innovators of fashion. Yep, 
They made poor hygiene sexy again. Was it ever? To a fashion pleb like you, probably not. That's so great. He's top of the art in fashion. Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. If I get this space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disk will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Uh. Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years. No, it is not. Uh, what about this one? Oh, Jesus. That is creepy. I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes. Give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. Um, okay, but well what is space dust? What is uh, space dust? It's uh, space exploration in uh, powder form. Do you ever get to see any aliens? Yeah, but they are total dicks that don't pay taxes. Except for Florgan. He's alright. Okay. Like, uh, where can I find space dust? You can cook it yourself. It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon, though. For reasons I don't want to get into right now. And then I forget the rest. Alternatively, you can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here. The little house on the mountain in the middle. Okay. Cool. Bring me that powdery heaven. I've already got the suppository prepared. Uh, uh. Then you can go on a spiritual journey with me to uncover the dark secrets of Krush. New original conspiracies? Yeah, want to hear about it? Um, long live the lizard long people. Long live the lizard people. Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum. Paradigmy guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars? Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of? Obvious listening devices? Now, I won't know for sure till my next drug-induced coma, but I'm pretty sure that... Um, I would say if we're part of a reality show... We're all a part of a reality TV show called Paradigm's Life is Nothing But Misery and Regret. Valid. However, my theory was that we were teenage mutant cutie boys accidentally fell in the radioactive ooze, thus giving us amnesia. And trendy period relevant catchphrases. Now they are keeping an eye on us so we don't fight crime. Yours works too. Let's uh, change the subject. Kawabungu! Um, okay, let's I just might go need to leave now. This stench is too great. See you later! <coughs> right, uh, I think he had a... This is cutting-edge high-tech keypad security drawn on my crayon, compelling burglars to go back to art school. Pretty effective. Can we not use it? It's locked. Besides, I... Okay. 
Because he had a bit of a, uh, had a coat on, on 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 his hand, that's probably. That's probably the entrance coach, so we have to go here to the not a drug dealer's house. Dude, what a tune! <laughs> okay. Great. Nice, uh, nice birds. Alright, but, um,. That's it for for today. Thanks a lot for experiencing another round of Paradigm with me. I hope you had fun today. And um, I also hope you're with me again next time. Thanks a lot again. Your Humble Barry Finn.